Good evening. Anybody been paying attention to the big earthquake they had in Japan? They had this article on Yahoo, if anybody cared to read it. As you can see the headline, they're considering this an aftershock. from the earthquake over three years ago. So when you read through this, their seismologists are saying <clears throat> that this recent earthquake was an aftershock. And they warn of more to come. They had a little tsunami, a warning, but it was not very many inches. We have fears. Relatively large earthquakes will occasionally occur in the area. where aftershocks of the great quake continue. You see the aftershock activity has been declining on a long-term basis. But aftershocks with tsunamis will still occur. On the scale of 1 to 7, they rated it a 4 in terms of intensity. And they're saying that a possibility of <clears throat> more aftershocks are going to probably be a three. That's what they're hoping. Three people injured in this latest one. They claim no damage done to the nuclear plant. And this is a day after the typhoon passed by. It was relatively, this earthquake, relatively shallow. But I felt it in Tokyo, and 200 km kilometers away. Woke people up on sirens. Well, you're going to see more of this. I don't know whether I'm going to call them aftershocks or not. TEPCO. No reports of abnormality. The sea levels can't be gauged near the plant as the tsunami monitoring system was destroyed <laughs> in 2011. <clears throat> can't measure that. Our temporary breakwater that was newly built at the plant is high enough to block a one-meter tsunami. They're struggling to handle a huge and swelling volume of contaminated water at the plant. So, It continues. They do not have this situation under control by far. And it's over three years. You can go on to E and E News and you can read different articles. Some from different professors, college university professors talking about radiation. They know. They know that it's a carcinogen. And they are worried about it. Even, even if it were a lower level, you get more of the lower level. And it's a carcinogen. These are just some of the pictures here. No, 
It's the construction of the ice wall, which has failed. It's failed. It's not, not happening. It's as of July the 9th. <clears throat> Hot particles. Ice wall. Makes a lot of sense. And this is just their meteorological man speaking at a press conference, talking about where it was at, how deep it was, and all the good stuff. And this is some more of the construction of the ice wall. And here's the TEPCO guy, and he's measuring some radiation as the workers construct an ice wall. That's the best they can come up with, an ice wall. We're going to build an ice wall. We're going to keep it from getting into the ocean. Hey, don't mind all the water that we're dumping in the ocean. You know, we'll, we're going to tell everybody and show that we're building a, an ice wall that's failing. So folks, the inentness, the slow kill genocide still continues. All them poor children over there, it's got thyroid problems now. They really do need our prayers, the Japanese people. <clears throat> because their government has lied to them. TEPCO has lied to them. Their health is being destroyed. You know, it's like I've said before. You can't see it. You can't hear it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. So everybody just lives. And, uh, they stay where they're at. Some can move, some cannot. Some believe, some do not. But you will believe whenever your child starts coming up with major thyroid problems and tumors. You'll know then. Will there be more? I believe there'll be more earthquakes, yes. Will there be a giant earthquake that takes it down the plant completely and opens it up like a can? Just blows the roof off and everything just spews into the atmosphere? Will there be a plutonium release? I believe there will be at some point in time. People have said and people have written that the radiation changes the composition. It's like it, in a way, deteriorates the structure of the steel. The foundation of the the building and weakens it. And if that is true, which I don't know, I'm not <clears throat> skilled in that type of science, but I am just saying if, if that if their theory is true, then that is not something we have to look forward to. The shallower earthquakes or the more that you can, you know, you can feel them pretty good, depending on the magnitude. You know, you get light, light, lighter ones and, and deeper. You know, we're up on top of the surface, so you may, you may not feel that. Will they get an 8.8? .8? Will they get a 9.0?
I don't really see that happening here immediately. I see some sevens coming though. And I suppose the reason they would call it an aftershock is because whatever's less in magnitude number than a nine makes it an aftershock. If it if it would you know come off and exceed the nine and be like nine point two, then then you would call the nine a foreshock, I believe. You'd have to say, I guess you would have to classify that as a foreshock. We are in a world of hurt, and it's a sad ordeal. And we have to, we're all the way over here. And I put those models up when they were, they were being modeled up with the release of the one, cesium-137 and the other dangers. And I told you it, it drifted over here, and I told you it went all the way across. It, it went all over the world. You can read articles about your sea life and how they're responding to it three years afterwards. Major, major sea life dying. We're not trying to run away from it. Go somewhere else. Some of them are mutated. So you really need to understand and, and not forget this radiation. All we can do is pray to the good Lord to keep us protected for as long as he will. And I can only urge everyone to seek him. I can't make you do it. I can't make you believe. I can only urge you. Because if you don't accept Jesus as the Messiah who died for you and rose again from the dead, if you don't accept that and believe it, I can't do it for you. That's something that you have to do as a sign of faith. When you do that, you're going to be showing something to the Lord. You're going to be showing Him that you do believe. And He's going to keep His hand on you if you do believe. But if you don't recognize Jesus and what He did and who He is, I don't really know how to make it any more plain for you. There's two stops at the final bus. One goes left, one goes right. There's only two destinations. And you've got to do the right thing to make sure your destination is heaven. You don't want to take the left turn. No, the left turn takes you down south. And that's a way you don't want to go in a place you don't want to be. So God bless everyone. Never forget. They're poisoning every one of us.